just as some quarters were praising him for indirectly facilitating the recent rapprochement between North and South Korea, U.S. President Donald Trump has gone ahead and pulled America out of the Iran nuclear deal. The deal, inked between Iran and the five permanent members of the UN Security Council plus Germany, was aimed at restricting Iranian nuclear activities in exchange for sanctions relief. There's no denying that the Iran nuclear deal was a grand diplomatic success. It addressed international security concerns and gave Iran a chance at normalization. And by all accounts, Iran had stuck to the stipulations of the deal. Thus, for America to pull out of the deal now not only diminishes its own credibility but also raises the chances of a full-blown crisis in the Middle East. Iran has said it will look to preserve the deal if it can be salvaged with other remaining signatories. It has absolutely ruled out renegotiating the current deal are working on a brand new deal as Trump has said he will push for. Trump's justification for his move is that he believes that the deal was one-sided to begin with and doesn't address Iran's ballistic missile program or strategic activities in the Middle East. But the latter issues were never meant to be covered by the deal. If the deal collapses completely, Iran has said it could restart industrial-scale uranium enrichment. That would immediately worsen tensions between Iran and American allies Saudi Arabia and Israel. In fact, a scenario could come about where military interventions could be planned against Iran. Of course, this would be absolutely disastrous for the Middle East and the world. Iran is neither Syria nor without friends. Therefore, any conflict will completely burn the region. So what exactly has Trump achieved by pulling out of the deal? He has broken with his European allies France, Germany and Britain, putting another strain on transatlantic ties. Ultimately, this might see Europe work out a new modus vivendi with Russia and better relations with China. Meanwhile, if the deal fails, the political impact of it could see the hardliners in Iran once again gain the upper hand. Iran's moderate president Hassan Rouhani was diligently working towards reforms and had staked a lot of political capital on the nuclear deal. His hardline critics will now have an excuse to subvert his reform agenda. An open, moderate Iran well integrated with international systems would have been welcome for the world. But Trump has potentially stymied such a positive development. And lastly, Trump has now pulled the U.S. out of three major international accords, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, the Paris Climate Accord and the Iran nuclear deal. Going forward, countries won't be wrong in being extremely wary about making new deals with America. Plus, if the U.S. government can undo international agreements in such a cavalier fashion, its leadership role in the world needs to be seriously questioned. Why, for example, should North Korea agree to any deal that Trump offers them now over the denuclearization issue? And if the U.S. can't be reliable, more and more countries will be tempted to flock towards China. But Trump doesn't want to play a second fiddle to China or even treat it as an equal. Only if he understood he is being his worst enemy in this regard. Disclaimer, views expressed above are the author's own. From around the web from around the web more from the Times of India recommended by Columbia.